Hello. I wanted to talk to you about some things to do with my filofax and my notebooks and journals and things like that. So sometimes I get a bit unsure of my setups and especially as I'm not doing everything in one book as I've got multiple books that I want to use and all of my things that I need to write down wouldn't fit in one book. I need to work out what book should be for what, um, you know, what's the purpose of a particular file effects or why have I got an extra notebook or something like that. So I often use this notebook to um, write down my thoughts about that kind of thing. So I've, over the last couple of days, I made this page. Um, hopefully it will fit in the camera. These tripod legs don't really let me um, fit whole books, whole like A4 sheets or anything in landscape so I'll try to make it fit. This is my notebook that I showed in a video or two videos where it was for like random notes but now it's mostly about me working out my planner setups. So this is what I've been doing. Um, you don't have to read it, I'll just kind of point things out. So I wrote I need to find out, I need to figure out the purposes of my notebooks and stuff because I have so many and I have my Midori and I have lots of faux Dories that you can't see but they're over there on my bookcase. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five plus this one, I don't know if I've got more, that's all I can see on my shelf at the moment, maybe six. Um, so I don't like them sitting on my shelf empty, so I like to work out what each of those are doing. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight A5 Filofaxes, leather ones, and plus two A5 Dominoes and they're sitting on the shelf, oh nine A5 file of is actually, I've got two in use at the moment, one is this one, the um, aqua molden which in this light on my on my camera screen looks green but it isn't, it is, well it's a greeny blue but it's more turquoise than green in real life and then I've got my ochre molden which is my Egyptology one which is, it works perfectly um, but then all the rest, I don't know if you can see up there on my bookcase, just there, they're sitting there empty, which is a real shame. Oh no, I've got another one over there on my settee, so that's like 10 leather filofaxes, A5 ones. A5 is my favourite size and I got most of them at a really good price, so um, I don't feel like it's a waste to have them, but I feel like, like it's a waste if they're not being used, because I don't consider them a collection, I consider them things that I should actually use. So uh, then I've got this notebook and then the is it the papery, I think it's the papery, have had a three for two sale on notebooks and I was trying to work out if I needed them as well. And then I saw this um, video of this girl who's got like 30 journals and they each have a purpose and I was thinking I need to at least have a purpose for my a5 Filofax, this notebook, my Midori, just for those three, at least find a purpose for those three. So I was trying to work it out. So my Filofax, I have resurrected these A5 dividers which I made, these A5 monthly ones. So skipping to this bit, uh, skipping to the front of the section. I forgot how much I'd actually put in front of them. So these ones here, January to December dividers, I made them out of the A to Z dividers. So there's 13 A to Z dividers because there's 26 letters in the alphabet and there's two letters on each one. Um, obviously the, th the 13th one is blank but that is my sort of movable bit to skip to the second half of my file of facts. So I've got January to December and what I did was when um, Stephen Ray released the seasons, the monthly picture dividers, I printed them out on 
just normal printer paper and washi taped them to the um, A to Z divider and I put washi tape here to cover the divider tabs and then a letter sticker to indicate what month it is so I really liked them and I have the pictures on from July to December I haven't printed them out from January to June yet but I will do at some point so I've, I've got those and they're beautiful and I love them and I really wanted to start using them again with a diary because I have stopped using a diary in my Midori and I've ordered the A5 Dodo pad, the A5 2014 one and I was hoping it would arrive yesterday but unfortunately it didn't so I'm going to wait for it to arrive on Tuesday so that is what this is going to be for that was kind of the start of my working out what should go where so the January does a January to December dividers with the 2014 dodo pad and then my push hobbies I call them push hobbies because you can have push hobbies and non push hobbies so push hobbies are the ones you have to push yourself to do I think I got that from I'm gonna forget her name now I'm so sorry I've forgotten your name but it's the girl from South America who makes Filofax videos I'm sorry I've forgotten your name Ooh. anyway um, they're push hobbies so you have to push yourself to do them so they aren't my natural kind of what I would do in my spare time hobbies they are things I want to do but they're not things I naturally find myself doing and then the non push hobbies are the ones that I do naturally find myself doing like paper craft researching fountain pens and stuff online reading they're things I don't have to force myself to do they're kind of the things that like paper craft I shouldn't really be doing straight away I can do them as a reward after I've finished doing all of my chores for that day but they are the kind of things that I would just start doing as soon as I come home from work and completely forget to do all the things I was supposed to do so I need to prioritize my push hobbies which are like writing my novel doing um, Egypt research um, hieroglyphic grammar and stuff so that is going to be the second half to my filofax so the first half is going to be my planner so I haven't set this up properly yet but the this is my favourite divider so behind that before the January tab I'm going to have my lists and things that I need to organise myself at the moment I haven't finished setting that up yet so when I have I'll show you then I will have my January to December dividers with the 2014 dodo pad in then the second half is going to be my push hobbies and this is going to be stuff that comes from one of the other filofaxes so those filofaxes over there I am going to have the A5 de Villiers which is um, that one there which is not a filofax brand but it looks exactly like an A5 filofax um, it's going to be for a special project to do with Egypt I've got the yellow original there that is going to be for um, middle egyptian grammar the fuchsia original there is for my novel and then i've got the ochre a5 molden which is over on my desk which is for egyptology research and basically i don't carry those around with me so if i'm working on a special particular project within one of those areas so if it's just um a chapter of my novel or a particular part of Egyptian grammar or a particular part of my Egyptology research I will take the relevant pages out of that filofax with some blank paper and I'll put it in this second half of my filofax so that I can carry around everywhere with me and carry on working with it without having to carry that other filofax with me as well as this one so it's um, basically what I'm currently working on so that's what I've got written down here currently working on from other filofaxes so um, that's what that is for so the second half of my filofax is for that I made this divider out of two postcards so they're A6 size so obviously two of them makes an A5 um, sized thing 
put together so I can make a divider out of it. So I stuck it on to a thing I'd printed out years ago. Um, it's a picture of my favourite king's statue, one of his mortuary statues. So I stuck them together and I made myself a divider out of stuff I'd already got lying around that I really wanted to see on a daily basis. That is one of my favourite ancient Egyptian artefacts. It is a faience um, statuette figurine of a hippo and it's very famous and it is, um, well I call him Henry the Hippo. He's not really called Henry but I call him Henry the Hippo and that is from a late period um, sarcophagus wooden sarcophagus with beautiful hieroglyphs painted um, so this section here which I'm not going to show you so this Egypt divider is going to be um, prefacing all of my Egypt sections in here whether it's hieroglyphs my Egyptology research or my special project which I won't tell you about yet um, and this section is for my novel so I picked it because I picked this divider because it looks like lined paper which is perfect I'm not going to show you what's behind it obviously. My novel is going to be a thriller. Um, I'm not going to show you what's behind it but it's got random, like this is paper that I carried around me, with me at work, just scribbly notes on it. So it's all like folded in four and it's got doodles on it and stuff and I just punched it and put it in here and stuff. Well that should live in that A5 fuchsia original over there but because I'm currently working on the outline of my plot it will live in here when I finish the outline of my plot and I'm ready to start working on each chapter I will put these notes in my A5 original and only have notes for each chapter as I'm working on it in here and then I will file it away in that file of facts. and then I've got paper just um, blank paper and some random notes there um, so that is my file facts, but I think what I need to work on it most is this section in front of the um, the A to Z dividers, the January to December dividers, because obviously that is for my organisation, that is for my planning, so that is important to work on. So I'm not sure when this video is going to cut out. My camera only lets me film for 15 minutes, so I might need to do a part two. Then I've got my Midori. So without showing you everything, because I haven't finished setting it up yet, my Midori, it was quite thin recently, I only had two notebooks in it, but I've recently put another one in, but that isn't how it's going to be finished setting up. This, in companion companionship with my A5 Filofax, because obviously I don't want two of them doing the same job because I'll get really confused over what's supposed to do what. My A5 um, my A5 file of facts is going to be my diary specifically for planning in detail and my workbook. That is what I'm going to think of the second half with my um, my kind of notes on my push hobbies section is my workbook. This is my journal and everyday carry kind of thing. It's not like a journal like Dear Diary, I don't write that. It is my bullet journal which I also journal about my day in when there's things that I want to remember like funny things my animals do, things that I've got to remember. I'm suffering with um, problems with my ears at the moment so I'm journaling that in here because that is important to keep track of. Um, so basically it's a journal um, but I also use it for my current lists and my current lists are waiting for on my mind keep in mind projects in progress shopping lists that kind of thing so they're lists that come down from what I need to keep track of in my life the things that I can take one look at my this is my um, keep in mind on my mind list where is it here and I can take one look at it and go oh yes I can't forget that project I'll work on it tonight and it just quickly at a glance reminds me of what is going on in my life and it keeps my life in focus and 
I just remember what I'm supposed to be doing. So this is my bullet journal, and like I sh Hi guys, sorry my memory card ran out of juice, so here we go. Um, yes, yeah, so my bullet journal is exactly as I showed in one of my previous videos, where it's just a brain dump for all of my thoughts and stuff. I do like to kind of put washi tape just to brighten the pages up a bit. Um, this page, I haven't got anything pretty on it, so I'm going to put a sticker there. Um, so that is the basis of my Midori. So obviously that's the first thing that I put in my list of what I'm working out to put in my Midori. And then the second thing I've decided to put to use this booklet here as a reference booklet. So I used to have a section in my file facts for reference information. So it was like addresses, um, passwords, obviously in code, um, all that kind of stuff that I haven't had properly written down accessible to me for ages. I've had it in my file of facts but obviously I only take my file of facts around the house with me, I don't take it out of the house. So I need something with me everywhere. I carry my Midori wherever I go in the house anyway so I might as well just live in my Midori. So this is a Ray Blake notebook that he gave me in one of the um, Ray Dories I got. Um, I'm going to unstitch it, so I'm going to take out the um, thread in the middle because then I can take out pages and put in pages as I need to. Say if um, if I change all my passwords, I'll take the old passwords page out and put a new piece of paper with the new password codes in and stuff. So that's going to be that. So that was the second thing and then I'm never sure what the third notebook should be. I'm never... I kind of only need two but there's space for three and I like it to be chunky so I'm not sure what I'm going to make the third one so I don't know but I know I need a month on two page insert but that's only going to be like 12 pages long anyway so that's not a, a whole insert in its own right so that is just probably going to go in the middle in the centre bit of my bullet journal insert and then I'm going to find I'm going to put on here what the third insert should be when I think of it. So that is, you know, it's it's. this is an active list, this is ongoing, this is going to change as I think of more things. Then I've got my A5 notebook, this notebook here, which has got my quiver on it, which I love. Um, I was trying to work out what it should be, because more and more I have only been writing about the setups of my planners and the, my journals and things. Recently I've written something else but this is about my setup, this is about my setups, this is all about my setups, that's about my setup, that is about my Midori, uh, that's about an art journal. So I had a big gap between I think it was like February and May when I didn't write anything but before that I was writing a lot more random stuff like here's some sketches for a pencil case I was divided, d designing and stuff like that but since then I've only been really writing about planners. So I don't want this notebook only to be about what I should have in what planner, you know me working out what my planner setup should be. I want this notebook to be for more than that. And what I realised is that even though I have my journaling daily part of my bullet journal in here, I don't write the collections pages in here. I can do if I want to, and if I'm out and I think of like a project or something, I can use a whole page for that, but I tend to not. I tend to do it elsewhere. So I'm going to use this for that I think. It will basically be, because a bullet journal collection is basically a whole page on one particular subject. So it could be on a project, on a whole page of to-dos for a particular thing, it can be a list for something, it can be planning for like one particular you know, party you're organising or a holiday or something like that. So, um, that is what I'm going to use this for. So that's another use for this notebook besides just planning my planning. Um, and then 
I can transfer it into my file effects as necessary. So if it, it becomes more than just a notes page, if it becomes proper planning for a project or something, I can transfer it into the planning section of my file effects. And then um, I've, I've also been thinking, I really like researching random things online, like I'll go on Wikipedia and read about a particular subject, like um, a couple of weeks ago I was reading about, um, oh I've forgotten the name, but those planets that are like Goldilocks planets, the ones that are like, um, there's a particular name for them, I've forgotten the name, but it's that, um, area in space that they have a lot of planets that are like um i've just noticed my tripod's falling off the bed um it's like the planets that have got an atmosphere and sea you know like liquid water and something else so they've all got two out of three of the things that are required for an earth twin planet they're like earth cousin planets and soon they think they're going to find earth twin planets out there with that are capable of sustaining life so i was interested in that and i could have written all that down but i didn't so i'd like to have a place to write all those random things i research online so i could do that in here um like sometimes i read about um diseases and conditions and things like um you know like um phantom limb pain when somebody's had their leg amputated that's so fascinating and and all these random things you read about on the internet I just want to write them down so that this is a good place for that as well and you're thinking why don't you write it in your file of facts well I've kind of worked out that my file of faxes are the home for things that need to move pages that need to move so that's what I've got on here file of faxes are for things that need to be loose leafed so they're for things that need to move around so for example the reason why I write my notes for my novel in a file fax is because it's a really good way to put the pages in the correct order move them around until they're in the correct order in order to make the chapters if it was in a bound book and I decide to have that scene in chapter 4 instead of chapter 5 I can't just rip the page out and stick it in another section so that's why a file of facts is good for that and anything that's kind of like anything you need to move anything you need to remove as well anything you need to add and also for temporary things so that's why I use a file of facts I am not good at archiving so anything that I want to actually keep forever anything that's permanent or anything that doesn't need to be moved I prefer them to be in a bound book so um, bound books should be things that I want to keep in one book so if I want one book for a particular subject for example if I started a book on research for a particular subject or something I would just use a bound book also things that don't need to move things that won't be removed and things that should be permanent so that is what bound notebooks are for so that's why I wouldn't do um, things about um, well I could I could do things about my random research in my file of facts but I like the idea that in 20 years time I'm gonna come back and read one of these notebooks one of these bound notebooks and it's all gonna be in here whereas in 20 years time I can't guarantee that all of my notes that I write in here I'm actually going to still have because I'm really really bad at archiving. I know I'll probably keep my novel notes because I'll probably bind them with um, treasury tags and keep them in a box somewhere but I can't guarantee that all of the random things that I wouldn't otherwise keep safe that I wouldn't actually archive properly would be around in 20 years time. So I want this book for that. I've, I'm glad I've found some uses for this book. Um, and then I've got other things like my red moleskine is my Egypt bullet journal and planner so I want to do my planning for my Egyptology in a bound book as well because of the same reason because I don't think I'll archive um, my planning properly um, so it's going to be lists it's going to be like books I need to read it's going to be um, references I need to chase up um, things that I need to do in organizing the millions of files I've got in the Egypt folders on my 
um, hard drive and, and things like that, you know, it's, um, it's not going to be so much actually research, like, it won't be spider diagrams and things that I need to actually plan for my chapters of my um, kind of research that I'm doing, but it's going to be the lists and things that I need to do in order to progress in my research. Um, and then I've got kind of a little bit about what those filofaxes up there are for, so I've got um, just about stuff like that. And then my A5 Purple Molden is going to be my non-push hobbies, as I was talking about earlier, paper craft, fountain pens, novel, um, not the novel I'm writing but like reading and stuff. And then I've got my other Fodoris and Midoris. I know what two of them are definitely going to be. My Luxor Ray Dory, which um, Ray made, um, and he very kindly gave me because I helped him with some aspects of it, um, will be for all my Egypt stuff. So I've made an insert for um, Middle Egyptian vocabulary and um, quick grammar notes. If I'm ever going on a trip, like I'm going to the British Museum next week, I'll take that with me so that I can read hieroglyphs because some words I just can't remember so I've got the vocab there, I've got the grammar if I ever want to go hmm that's a weird construction, why is that in that way and not in the other sort of tense it could have used and stuff anyway that's just me, I'm a geek um, it's also going to have um, like an Indiana Jones style notebook in it, it's going to have my um, journal, I'm going to rewrite my journal from my Egypt trip in 2010 and stick the tickets in and it's also going to have a museum's review book in it that I'm going to, every time I visit a museum I'm going to write about my visit. My purple Fodori which I made, um, it, this is going to be my happy journal which is something I thought of um, I think it was last December, it's basically going to be writing down anything that makes me happy um, so this is how I plan what I'm, you know, how I want my notebooks to go, how I want my planners to go and stuff. It's just how I get my thoughts on paper. So like previously I had, um, this one here, um, my Midori setup. Um, and then I had my planner options, so I was thinking about what sort of planner I should use because, um, I wasn't using my Midori one anymore so should I make a DIY A6 one should I make um, an A5 one like in a notebook like this or should I actually use my Filofax and I put all the positives and negatives and I wrote I think this is the best option so that's the kind of thing it just it gets my brain on paper because I'm such a paper person I need to write these things down so I love writing things down like that and I do recommend doing it if you are in a bit of planner wobble, planner turmoil. Before you get to planner fail, write your stuff down, your thoughts, your ideas, so that you kind of maybe stop planner fail in its wake and hopefully you'll be able to find a solution. So when I finish setting up my Filofax, when I've got my dodo pad insert and when I've done the other sections, I'll show you. Um, and then once I finish setting up my Midori, I will show you that as well. And then when I've set up my other Filofaxes and Ray Dories and Midoris and Faux Dories, which are over there, I'll show you them eventually as well, but they will take a long time to set up. So thank you for watching, I hope this video wasn't too long, I know it's definitely over 25 minutes, I do long videos, sorry, I'm not very good at short videos, so thanks for watching, bye!